Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is G Games with one. So today I'm going to show you a video on how to unlock the Bluetooth on this Stadia controller. I know what's happening, Stadia is shutting down and this controller is going to be collecting dust because it only works with Stadia software at the moment. So what I'm going to show you today is basically how to unlock this Bluetooth so you can use it on other devices which support Bluetooth. So here I'll put the link in the description for you so it will redirect you to what region you are using it for before you start connecting it make sure it's charged to a decent amount it needs more than 10 percent before this actually works so you, you go on this website and it says play wirelessly with bluetooth switch to bluetooth mode. bear in mind once you do this you cannot use this on the stadia wirelessly you have to plug in and play so let's go on what it says on the website so play while with Bluetooth, you can use it with devices while going. Bear in mind, switching is permanent. So once you switch to Bluetooth mode, you cannot use Wi-Fi on Stadia again. You can still play with the USB in Bluetooth mode. This switching service will be available until the end of this year. After that, you're lost. So let's go on with it. How do I pair with Bluetooth? You know, it shows you instructions not all thing blah 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 but these are for you lot for, personally for me i'm going to use the bluetooth mode and use it on my pc it's a spare controller so i don't need to take out my ps5 controller each time let's go and switch to bluetooth mode switch so what would you like to do with your stadia controller switch to bluetooth mode or check for thing we're going to do bluetooth mode play wirelessly on bluetooth support and eh? uh, disable stadia wi-fi thing switching is permanent List of supported devices. Let's go through it because we don't want to do it before we do it. Let's see. So it says here which devices are compatible with Stadia controller. Windows 10 and Windows 11 plus Steam. So you can use this as a Steam controller for your PC. Mac OS 13 plus Steam, Chrome OS and Android. So you can use this with your phone. You don't need another controller. And I do believe other uh, devices are supported, but these are confirmed by Google. So I'm not going to say anything about it I, I i have no clue so let's that let's go and start to bluetooth mode are you accepting the terms and conditions yes i am let's start what you do is you go and plug the controller into the pc now it's plugged in and you're using a good usb data cable let's continue allow chrome to verify accept connect the controller and connect. Chrome has verified your Stadia controller. Go to next step to unlock your controller. Next, unplug your contro controller to power it off. So unplug the controller to power it off. While holding this button, while plugging into your controller. I'm holding the button, plugging in. Then hold these two A, Y, and that's a little game to play. Holding in, and I heard the sound. Next step allow Chrome to that. Select the controller and the Chrome to the device. It turned into SP blank RT family, so that's what I was meant to be doing. Now downloading Bluetooth mode. Go to the final step to install latest Bluetooth version on your device. Next, allow to install. So it becomes a Bluetooth device for you to use. Next goes, it's installing Bluetooth. Do not unlock the, do not unplug the controller. It will be messed up. No, wait, of course, this is going to be skipped and made much quicker. The latest Bluetooth. Bluetooth mode is updated, uh, update is installed, game mode. Your control uh, is in Bluetooth mode and can pair the Bluetooth device. You can unplug the controller. So now if your PC, your phone or whatever you need to control, you can use it. Um, if it's your first, it's the first time you turn on this controller, it should put into pairing mode. That's fine. Uh, that's it pretty much. That's quite simple. It is. Oh well, if this work video helped out, 
don't forget to follow of course i'm going to do tips and tricks in the future on tech videos and i'm going to go back to gaming eventually thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay gaming